I'm going to give you all the reasons why Bitcoin dipped. Let's talk. Welcome back to Kitos, guys. My name is Keith, and in this channel, we talk about everything investment related from stocks to cryptos and beyond. So let's talk. Now, Bitcoin dipped to 45,000 US dollars overnight. So I'm going to explain a few reasons why. Number one, the new coronavirus variant is making a huge impact, not just in the crypto market, not just for Bitcoin, but also for the stock market and other industries. That's one of the biggest reasons why we have a major sell off all throughout the markets. Number two, we know that the Fed has commenced tapering as of November. What does that mean? That means every single month now they are continuing to buy less bonds and mortgage backed securities and pretty much what that means is they're printing less money every single month so of course that's going to impact inflation that means they're trying to control inflation slowly over the next couple of months of course inflation is only a small factor when it comes to bitcoin price not a big factor just a small factor but still it has an impact and another reason that can just get added on to the coronavirus fears to make a more massive sell-off three is liquidations of course a lot of people who are in the crypto markets are massively over leveraged so what happens when you borrow money to buy bitcoin and all these altcoins well obviously when the price gets a little bit too low you get completely wiped out or completely liquidated so you end up losing all your money and that just trickles its way down when one person gets liquidated and then everything gets a, has to get forced sold then the next person who has just slightly lower levels of liquidation will also get forced sold because that forces the price to drive itself down and down and down. And this is why Bitcoin significantly drops straight down to $45,000 and then bounces back up because there's also buyers to come in and buy the dip. And that being said, there is a strong amount of people who are still in the market and we are still seeing buying pressure happening. Another big headline in the news that is impacting the market is the week ahead. See, the US and China will be pushing inflation and foreign trade updates in the coming week, while several banks in Canada, Australia, India, and Brazil decide on their monetary policy. Other important data to follow include US consumer confidence, UK October GDP data, German investor morale, and factor orders. Guys, there is a massive amount of news that's coming up in the week ahead. All of that compiled together with the fact that there's liquidations, with the fact that the Fed has already commenced tapering, and the fact that the coronavirus, the new variant, is really not that well known and cases are cases are starting to pop up around everywhere of course there's there was going to be a mass sell-off now with all that being said no i don't believe that this is the end of the market i don't believe that we began the bear market either i highly disagree with that why the bitcoin stock to flow model i stick with my convictions i stick with my process i have a process when i invest in crypto i have a process when i invest in stocks i have a process when i'm buying gold and silver and now my process for crypto is simple. I follow the Bitcoin stock to flow model. You see, the Bitcoin stock to flow model is like a commodities chart that graphs out Bitcoin supply and demand based on how much Bitcoin is being actively mined every single day. And based on this chart for this current bull run, we have still yet to see Bitcoin reach a price of one Bitcoin per 100,000 US dollars. That means until Bitcoin nears that price, I'm not going to be selling. If anything, I would be buying the dip, but I'm already all in on Bitcoin since the beginning of the year. If you're getting scared in this kind of market, you really need to ask yourself, what kind of investor are you? Are you a trader? Are you a long-term investor? Are you a short-term investor? What is your process? What is your plan? What is your strategy? Those are the things that you should have and be confident in that before you actually make a move. Now, if you're a day trader, then you will be looking at charts. You're not going to be looking at the fundamentals. If you're a long-term investor uh, or even a short-term investor like me, because I've invested in 2020, right? And my plan is to invest for the crypto bull run. And I have a price target for when I want to get out. And this kind of dip or crash doesn't really affect me whatsoever. If anything, I would be buying more, but like I said, I'm already all in. Anyways, that's it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching my video. I really do appreciate it. My goal for this channel is to reach one thousand subscribers so it would really do me a great favor you can hit that subscribe button smash that like button for the youtube algorithm and also hit that notification bell so you don't miss another video from me thank you guys so much for watching this video and take care